Hi, this is Dr. Elizabeth Livingood, and the question comes to us today here at LDN Research Trust, can LDN actually cause anxiety and depression? So I spoke how LDN can improve symptoms of depression and associated anxiety. However, there are some situations where you might want to be aware of the potential for anxiety to increase and um, possibly as a side effect because of what LDN is doing. LDN increases our body awareness. It increases mindfulness. It increases our memories and our, our vivid recounting of these memories. This is why we get the side effect of vivid dreams at night. So think of the opposite of that. If a person has repressed memories or traumatic amnesia, or traumatic disassociation with their body due to uh, history, events, whatever, then bringing those back into light, bringing them to the surface, bringing them to our consciousness could result in anxiety. So we need to really look at the history of our patients when prescribing, if you are a patient, to consider these questions of uh, potential trauma, previous anxiety, um, dissociation, things like this. Uh, so, so thinking about mindfulness, that's one one reason why anxiety could increase when taking LDN. Another reason is that a person is very sensitive to all all sorts of medications. So, this is a person who um, constitutionally is simply more sensitive, or uh, for detoxification reasons or liver function reasons, is more sensitive and can then have these effects we just talked about, could be a little more prone to anxiety. In that case, simply starting at much lower doses, uh, micro dosing we call it, or very low dose naltrexone could be helpful, and then increasing more slowly to monitor those side effects. One other reason a person could experience anxiety would be due to medication interactions. So low dose naltrexone, in its effect of improving mood, improving cellular function. So let's take the example of thyroid, improving thyroid function. A person may need to lower the doses of their other medications. So it could turn out that if a person's taking thyroid medication for low thyroid, we add the LDN, that medication may be too effective. So now we need to reduce the thyroid medication or in effect causing hyperthyroid symptoms. That could cause anxiety, certainly. So just checking medication interactions, um, looking for dissociative patterns or a history of sensitivity, physical sensitivity to medications can all be reasons to start at very, very low dose or ultra low dose, which is about 0 0.1 to 0 0.25 milligrams of LDN and then moving up very, very slowly so that um, side effects are monitored. One thing that's very helpful and really strongly encouraged is to stay in close contact with your prescribing provider. So to have a knowledgeable and safe place to go to discuss these side effects, to adjust dosing is critical. Um, people, especially if they're in the first category, we talked about with uh, dissociation or trauma, they need to have that safe space to discuss these potential side effects, to talk through them, and work through the dosing. So please be in close touch with your provider and uh, consider starting at much lower doses. So a lot of uh, valuable information on the LDN Research Trust website, specifically from psychologists such as Dr. Lanius out of British Columbia, I believe. And uh, specific to that topic, if you want to know more about uh, dissociation or traumatic events and how LDN might affect that, it in and of itself is not a direct side effect usually, but because of these other factors might be an issue. Um, more questions, please visit LDN Research Trust.